Hello Malaysia, this is Jerry Kosher and this is a wait a minute production update of the Sasabi panel lining making creating whatever so I uh, haven't done my Sasabi for some time now for one or two one week or so or one or two weeks because I've been busy suffering from burnout yeah I haven't been making videos also for some time now because uh, oh, I'm getting a bit uh, sick of making videos so uh, so that now it's time to go back to this sasabi so i uh, did a hodgepodge type of work on this uh, panel lining here uh, this is extra stuff normally it's uh, you see the gold there just wanted to highlight it and make it look nicer of course i'm using this shit gundam marker that comes out and this is the result it looks not shiny at all like it's like not it was gold at first but now it's brass so the, the longer you will handle it the more uh, whether it looks the brass it's supposed to be gold but it looks like brass now so what i did was i used uh mostly this one here this blunt thing from daiso for five bucks it must be blunt so it can scrape off all the plastic in the grooves or the line that you have uh, ever uh, uh, drawn with your pencil uh, it's not so successful using a hobby knife to cut it because it's it can just when you're trying to make a st straight line and suddenly whoosh, veers off so it's not it's not so good but the damage is not that bad actually it's not you can try all types of uh, all types of 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 uh, medium or tr of trying to how best suit your needs of uh, making panel lining uh, of course, I uh, do go check out Vegeta number number number. Uh, his tutorials on uh, Gunpla and stuff is pretty awesome, pretty good, very nice. So I did not like follow his uh, advice to the T. Uh, mostly because I don't have the the stuff or the material to do so. Uh, for instance, if I done this panel lining, I I use only blunt objects like so which is very very sh very very sharp indeed is it focusing this camera should be focusing this is a power shot a2500 hd it's not in full hd it's just hd so it's not focusing at so near so forget so you can see this thing is still attached so i haven't taken it out uh, yeah that holds it to the cardboard thingy so uh, as i was saying i did not like follow vegeta's uh, advice to the t like say uh, sanding these parts here after uh scraping it with this one here uh with very fine gradient sand paper or sand block because i don't have it and i i think it cannot be bought in uh, what called time machine in bajai times square which is next to one toys and also in a uh, infinite creation workshop in sunway mass commercial area so I uh, haven't been going there at all, haven't been doing anything Gundam-ish at all, so I've uh, been taking some time off. So now I'm making my video after after not making videos for days and days and days. And trying my best to actually go and tag all my old videos and stuff. And uh, now so far there's nobody like uh, send me any messages that I can actually shout cast to while I'm doing Sasabi. As you can see, you don't see any uh, any laptops around here displaying some nice pictures or music at all uh, because there's nobody sending me messages. So uh, the usual fellows who uh, actually send me messages uh, is the guy in uh, in New Zealand and also the European Malaysian uh, tall shit. His name is actually eighty uh, eighty. Uh, chill one eighty eighty. Yep no messages from them i don't know why uh, must be, must have been freaked out from the from me like <clears throat> answering their questions using the web or oh, sorry using the video maybe they want to be anonymous i have uh, so far 20 anonymous uh, 20 subscribers uh, more half of them is like anonymous i don't know why weird So this is the result of my handiwork here and uh, you can see it's not that perfect. It's not as good as the one that say in the Gunpla Expo 2013. Uh, and I have a video of the guy who, who done that uh, perfect grade 00 riser. His panel lining is 
sublime -y. very straight very nice that one you should go and check it out in my video uh, Gunpla Expo 2013 Jericho Ikano that's the, the title of the stuff there are so many parts there so take your time watch it all if possible you can uh, stand my stand me blabbing around about all these Gundams and shit so all the okay it's uh, clean enough already I think uh, now it looks like so so uh, instead of just red now there's some gold thingy thingy in the middle would it look nice at all I wonder hmm. and also uh, written I mean I've already like say I also like say oh the thinner actually rubs off the pencil marks as well cool didn't know that good work See the silver here also been rubbed off. I think I need to like really really use Mr. Hobby color. The the ones that you paint instead of these markers. These markers are kinda shitty. So uh, do avoid using markers please. Mr. Hobby or whatnot. All those markers are shit. Shite. Those are useless. Now I I know why the guys at uh, or Mr. Raymond of ICW does not like markers at all because once you apply the paint it's very hard to handle the product because it will come out the markers that is it will come out really and nearly so uh, I think I have enough of this backside here fuck it uh, maybe in the future I would <coughs> sorry maybe in the future I would like uh, come back to it try to make it nicer and stuff like that once I've leveled up my skill levels in gun planners uh, definitely a lot of uh, variations and many many types of uh, shapes and sizes and whatnot that you can actually apply onto this quite bare bones type of a uh, sasabi here so yeah a lot of things you can do to it definitely so uh, try to clean as much as possible and uh, you can see the results uh, look at the sasabi still, still having the blue tag there and uh, yeah the the feet I mean the the hips here the the what do you call it uh, the PVC has broken so this is uh, the hand the leg is kind of not sticking to the pelvis at all so I think I have to go and find a replacement you can buy it you no know, anywhere mm, ICW or time machine thingy is up to you only in Malaysia so far only two places so far so I'm cleaning up with my thinner of course you have to like not use too much thinner as the volunteers in the uh, ice uh, volunteers of that expo thingy come plan 2013 in the Ikano or Ikea said that the thinner can actually degrade the 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 plastic itself hmm. there's some outside scratch marks you can't see it through the camera but I can see it so it's kind of like shitty so uh, once I have the tools I would like sand it nicely lovely because I want it to look nice uh, in the future sand it and uh, that's a proper way to do it back here so we'd like to like clean it up a bit uh, using fucking markers it's just terrible they will just gradually come out so if you use a uh, mr. hobby color that is definitely something like paint already where you paint on your on your f on your uh, on your wall not the which you call it the water-based type the water-based type can come out when you when you clean it with water I'm talking about the oil based one. Oh, that is the glossy one that one has a coating by itself so if you use the mr. hobby on this one as you can see here this coat it is um, kind of shiny and that won't come out at all if it's water if it's water based stuff or solvent that you apply to it or rub on it it won't come out it won't come out like a uh, dick going to spit out its it's poison onto the vagina or the clitoris or whatever okay I think I've had enough of rubbing here and rubbing there especially when I'm not using my dick to rub anything at all 
really and nearly it is done the back one just this one will have will suffice okay this one will suffice already i'm not gonna put here or here because fucking hell that's a lot of work and i have neglected my uh oops, fuck. uh neglected the the okay neglected the the what you call it reshipment fighter fighter reshipment from tt Hongli or heavy arms and uh, really haven't started at all didn't like take out any runners at all i'm uh, sorry take out any plastic parts because i was quite preoccupied with just making these few lines here which unfortunately did not bode well that much at all i should paint here the whole thing silver because black as in uh, for this part here does not seem that nice but fuck it And that's about it ah, okay so am i going to gloss it no you can see the the this you can see it it's showing already the red that's why the gunner marker is also shit so you think it's uh you think all these things are official yeah these are official okay and it's around seven bucks from a uh, family toy but i'm not going to use this anymore because of shit unless unless it's for these purposes of making something within a panel line which is very deep and very narrow as in as to uh, not rub off with any any uh, contact with the skin so areas like those i, I can use that gun marker whereas the brushing of those type of types of uh, lines or very narrow lines is like not so nice so bloop gone inside and that's the ass finish and it came out again definitely i had to get a new replacement poly cap the blue tech is not doing well uh, actually i think i will take this blue tech out the extra one out and out and see what i can do too bad that the tt only did not like uh, supply us or me with extra extra poly caps just in case some breakage happened like mine did so what to do what to do so i just have to put it back inside snug it in nicely like so and uh, the sides are very important uh. okay just uh, you have to get a new polycap i have to get a new polycap for this purpose okay so uh, so the back here i haven't done it and i'm not going to do it fuck it i'm going to like uh, go on to my next project the reshipment fighter aka heavy arms uh huh open it up a okay. ah, this this leg here i have to do something about it man it's always coming up which is a shame really a shame so uh, uh the this one the for the here the blue tech you can see a bit coming out uh, uh, i'm gonna leave it as it is uh, yep. uh, don't need to use anything extra uh just a blue tech enough is enough to like uh to highlight the damn thing and stuff like that that's good enough already so uh yep uh, fuck it i'm not gonna, not gonna do anything else to it put back the gun so this guy is right handed Doop. don't break huh? don't break at all please no breaking here and there uh, Look at the feet, it's fucking swinging here and swinging there. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's been held by the just by the blue blue tech. Where's the other one? The one with the awesome looking shield. 
You know, uh, speaking of Shield, the new trailer for the second Amer Captain America movie just came out, uh, called Winter Soldier, right? So the main protagonist should be Bucky, his uh, sidekick who, f if I remember correctly, fell off the train uh, into the ravine. So he's coming back as a baddie. So must have been reconditioned, stuff in stuff, and put in the freezer. And 50, 60 years later, brought it, ha brought him out, and to combat Captain America himself, A.K.A. Johnny Evans. can see here it is not tight at all because I've uh, I've uh, shaved off the plastic so it would not be tight thank god I hate it when it's tight uh, not applicable to certain things such as I'm not gonna say anything oh fuck I'm gonna put it back Okay, enough. That's enough. So there's a new pose by this sasabi here. It is like that. The shield, like so, and so, and so. This tripod here, I have to put it nicely. So that's Sasabi with his uh, with his shield at the back. Okay, that's good news. Uh, you know, the, for the past couple of days, I've been like, well, I went to like uh, Jalan Chow Kit and uh, to go and find that uh, bookstore. I mean, sorry, not bookstore, toy shop. Uh, what's his name? Ah, fuck it, I'm going to tell you. Uh, uh, because I have 20 boxes of Gundams, uh, totaling about, I think, hopefully 1,000, 1,100 ringgit most likely hopefully not more uh, hopefully you give me a discount motherfucker uh sorry about that if you're watching definitely hopefully you're not watching at all so let's see here uh so fucking hell. What about that? Two seconds. So I went to that uh, shop there for like three or four times, and every time I go there, the stock hasn't arrived yet. And I was just getting pissed off, so I was thinking, oh, okay, I'm gonna wait for one week be from now, from today onwards, I'll wait for one week and uh, fuck it because I don't want to waste petrol going there. Uh, usually, I don't need to pay for petrol at all. Uh, because I was uh, kind of sponsored by uh, Shell or Petronas or Caltex, but never Petron. So uh, I could like just waste petrol going here and going there. But uh, nowadays, no more subsidy for me, unfortunately. So uh, I'm looking at the ass there. So uh, it could be more elaborate for the. It still needs a bit of work and you can put in extra stuff into it uh, but uh, I guess well there's nothing much to explore 
but it looks kind of good with the shield at the back there uh, like say it's almost like being stored at the back uh, of course you can do this one uh, especially without the backpack the backpack is here so and uh, yeah so I was like going there all the time and he wasn't around and the stuff wasn't around and I said okay fuck it so uh, so just now I just had the call from him and he says oh the stuff is arrived oh fuck the stuff is there already so fuck 20 boxes of stuff oh my god uh, how am I gonna like pick up pick them all up on my motorcycle uh, stuff and decisions so uh problem 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 so back to the review here so that's a bit of a uh, news for you uh good news for me as well i'm gonna be like uh, uh poorer by 1000 bucks yeah 1000 ringgit which is equivalent to 200 pounds uh, uh queen's majesty's pounds or uh, divided by 3.3 or 3.5 just make it um, divide by 3 it will be like 300 US dollars yeah oh fuck I can see that there are some problems here I see some silver here I don't know where it what came from that's what you get for using Gundam markers or or Daiso Mr. Platinum markers and I can feel or see the oil coming out uh, the form the vegetable oil there is and there's some gold here so I'm gonna clean it up again of course uh, it's best to like say actually the propellant tanks uh, is supposed to be white in color I mean it looks nicer with white the, some of the people they've done it oh fuck oh it's coming out already the silver here that I painted the using the platinum paint marker from Daiso is coming out <sighs> okay I close it up like so and you can push it down like so and it will be a bit hard to take it out because you need to have some kind of hobby knife to pry it open like so and so that's how you open it you can do like this as well just uh, like like try to pull it out but uh, if it's too tight now you can now now you can but uh, uh, sometimes it just stuck in it so you yeah so like so like so and like so 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 let's complete the sasabi so what was i saying uh okay, uh, i wasn't doing my condoms at all much at all okay Don't fall, eh? Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. The propellant tanks is way too small. It does not look uber cool at all. It was as long as the Sinanju Stein and the Sinanju itself, like double the, the size of this propellant tanks on this high grade TT Hongli here, which is copied directly from the Bandai high grade Sasabi MSN04. It lo would look much, much cooler. Very, very much cooler. <laughs> so it's just a square peg and just you can just stuff it in and uh, because of the 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 leg the left leg is not stuck directly to the pelvis because the PVC has broken it's not that stable but uh, then again it just looks cool doesn't it just sasabi okay this baby is finished already and uh, f uh does it the the head does not look that big at all yeah the head does not look big at all if you were to compare this one here this high grade msn04 uh 
copied uh, Titi Hong Lee which copied the Bandai version the head is not that big but if you were to compare this one the high grade with the master grade the Bandai master grade you can see that the head for the master grade is really much much bigger than proportionally than this one high grade so it looks fucking ugly on the master grade itself well i think it was addressed uh, this issue where the head is too big for sasabi himself in the new or upcoming uh, sasabi workout version coming out in this uh, this year 2013's uh, december so i think that will be addressed and there will be nicer uh, stuff extra like gray here and gray here side skirt gray here and gray here some kind of a inner inner frame of the armor that is gray in color so i think there's some kind of a psycho frame motif here almost the same as the uh, unicorn gundams so or the banshee or whatever you call them or the work the rx93 the one the yellow black and white uh, gundam piloted by amuro murray in uh, things what you might call it uh, shars counter attack movie so uh yeah the new one looks okay not bad hopefully it won't be so expensive i think the price has already been determined so it's up to your country to actually see your distributor which is malaysia is lita see how much uh, they are like willing to sell uh, and how much the shops in uh, like say in Malaysia the hobby shops are willing to sell to you mostly it's going to be quite expensive so your best bet is to like say maybe uh, order direct from Bandai most likely it won't be cheap or you can get it from other countries or you just wait a couple of years for the TT Hongdi version hopefully in the future so or not TT Hongdi Daban or whatever call it GHD so if you like the video like it if you don't like it don't 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 like it subscribe please okay bye bye malaysia